Hey guys, I'm a forester here and today is the day that we're going to make time fly. I showed you this watch back several months ago when I bought it at uh, a night market in Hangzhou, China. I think I was the victim of a watch scam. It worked when I bought it, but by the time I got it back to the hotel, it had stopped working and it's all been downhill from there. Now I made a video back at Christmas time where I said I was going to put it to a practical use. And so I was going to use it as a target, and I gave you the choice of which gun to shoot it with. The choices were the SIG P226 in 22 long rifle, the Glock 26 in 9mm, a Smith & Wesson Model 66 revolver, and that was in 357 Magnum, and then the last choice was the Walther PPQ in 45 ACP. Well, the choice was was not unanimous, but it was overwhelming to one gun, and I have it right here, the Smith & Wesson Model 66. And I'm going to use 357 Magnum to shoot it with. Now, I've tried to make this video several times, and it just has never worked out, but I finally figured out how to uh, mount this on my action target. So I took the bracelet off, and I used Loctite to Loctite it onto the metal frame. So I hope it's going to stick. We're going to make time fly one way or the other because whether I make a direct hit or just hit around it, I think the concussion will make time fly. Now one reviewer said it, or one comment said it best. He said, bring on the heat. And that's what we're going to do today. Let's load them up. I think we better use a self-defense load on that watch. Here's some spear gold dot. 135 grain bullet. I've already got a speed loader ready to go. So let's load it up and get to work. We're ready to go. Okay, I got my hearing and eye protection on and I'm going to back up to about 10 yards. I'm going to let you look at the watch at close up so you can hit the see the strikes. Here we go. Well, that didn't take long. Let's see where the watch went. Here's some of the different pieces. I found these. That was some internal parts that were lying in front of the action target. There's there's the face of the watch. Let me get you up here in sunlight where you can actually see it. All right, so that was the face of the watch. You can just barely make out the X of Rolex. Here's the back of the watch. It's pretty much intact. It came off, but it didn't dent it in any regard. Shattered the face of the watch. And there's the back of it. You know what? There's the back of the bullet. See the copper color? So the bullet didn't go all the way through. The watch actually caught it. And here's those internal parts that I was talking about. All right, so we made time fly, and I will have to say that this watch is as good as new. It didn't work when it was new, and it doesn't work now. Y'all take care.